Hello there, I'm Dr. Frank, the music man. Now wouldn't you like to sit down on a piano or get yourself a 68 keyboard off of Craigslist for $50? Sit down and play a simple little song like the one you just heard. Press your family, your friends, inspire your kids to want to play, to appreciate music. Wouldn't you like to be able to do that? And I know what you're saying, probably. You're saying, man, I don't have the time. I, I would never learn it right anyway. You know, I don't know anything about music. Well, I can understand that, but that's exactly why I made these lessons, so that you could learn how to play a simple little song for your family and for yourself. Uh, the way that these lessons are made, everything is in the key of C, which is the easiest key to learn. And you will find that it's very easy to follow. And uh, there should be very little issue if you follow it in a step-by-step -step fashion. And you can learn how to play a nice little song that comes from your heart. So without any further ado, let's get into the lesson plan. You must have access to a piano-like keyboard in order to use these music lesson videos. This keyboard can be quite small, as few as 30 notes, which might sit comfortably next to a desktop computer in place of a regular computer keyboard. A better option is to use a keyboard that has a music stand on it. This allows you to place either a smartphone or pad sideways on the music stand and gives you many more notes to play. Here is an iPhone placed sideways on a piano music stand. Now let's take a closer look at the phone in video mode and see just how to use it for music lessons. The first thing you need to do is tap on the screen to turn the video controls on. When not needed, tap again to turn them off. I apologize if any of this is old news to you, but I can't take anything for granted when it comes to teaching online. There's the start-stop button on an iPhone. If you have another kind of smartphone, Please make sure you know how to use the video controls before starting the lesson. The timeline for an iPhone is on the bottom of the window and must be used to go back whenever a lesson section needs to be repeated. Unless you are Bach or Beethoven, chances are you will be using this a lot. And last but not least, please make sure the volume is turned on. You're ready to roll. The creepy hand stance that you see here, I call it the spider. Now, uh, I call it the spider because that's what it looks like. And that is a correct hand stance for playing the piano, something like that. That may be a bit exaggerated, but you get the point. Okay. This particular slide presents the hand stance from a side view so that you can get a, a better idea of comparing it to a, a bad hand stance. Uh, the proper one, you see that all the fingers are arched and the spider can dance up and down the keyboard uh, with his five legs instead of eight. And then on the uh, right hand side, you see a spider that's uh, probably been swatted by somebody. The, you see the fingers are flat against the keyboard. That's not the way to play a piano unless you just don't really want to play the piano, right? And then at the bottom, you can see something even worse where the, <laughs> the wrist is below the keyboard. That's really sad. That's really asking for a, uh, a, the inability to play correctly. But believe it or not, I know somebody that actually does that. So if you're going to learn to play the piano, start out by learning proper hand stance. That will make all the difference in the long run. 
Next we go from hand stance to hand fingerings. So the fingerings on the left hand, as you can see, are the opposite of those on the right hand because the left hand and the right hand are opposites. But the thumb is always number one. And then the next finger to the thumb is two. Middle finger is three. The next finger, ring finger, is four. And the little finger is five on both hands. In uh, your most basic form of music, the uh, left hand is used for harmony or playing chords. It, it is actually accompanying the right hand, which is the melody. That's true with most kinds of music. The next thing we're go going to talk about is keyboard patterns. And if you'll notice, the... Uh, the little yellow buttons are showing one pattern of two black notes and three white notes. And then in the next picture, you see three black notes and four white notes. And this pattern goes all the way across the keyboard, whether it's an 88 keyboard or anything else. Understanding these patterns will help you to find where your fingers go on the keyboard. The first thing we must do is find out where our song will begin on the keyboard. All of these songs will be played in the key of C, which is the easiest key to learn on a keyboard. They will always begin within the general vicinity of middle C. So let's find out where middle C is on an 88 piano or keyboard. It's at the fourth position. Using the magic of CGI, Let's cut this keyboard down to a 61 key keyboard. In this case, and in the case of 49 and 76 key keyboards, middle C begins at the third position. Please master each section before proceeding to the next one. That's the way the lessons are designed. The melody will be played with the right hand. The first thing to do is to hear how it will be played a single note melody on the piano. Next we will hear the single note melody displayed as yellow buttons on the keyboard at regular speed. Well, that certainly looks intimidating, doesn't it? Now, before you go belly up on me, rest assured you will learn the melody at half that speed and in easy-to-digest sections. Repeat any or all sections as many times as you like before moving on. Okay, now it's your turn. I'm going to take this uh, at a very slow speed and a very simple sequence of notes. And I want you to learn where to put your, put your fingers on the melody before you proceed any further with the harmony. Okay? So just follow this. You'll probably have to do this a number of times to get it right. Place your fingers on the clear notes but do not play them. Play only the notes that are colored in yellow. Okay, stop. Repeat this section of the melody until you can play it correctly with ease.
Okay, stop. Repeat this section of the melody until you can play it correctly with ease. Okay, stop. Repeat this section of the melody until you can play it correctly with ease. 